Good afternoon, everybody, and thank you for clicking on 5 News Web News. It's Monday, February 11th, 2013. I'm Brittany Hoke. And I'm Matt Heckel, and here's your top stories we've been following here on 5 News today. Uh, the Vatican has announced Pope Benedict XVI will resign from his post. That's right. The announcement came this morning and was a surprise. The Pope will resign on February 28th. No word as to why he's decided to resign. A new Pope should be in place by Easter, though. Benedict was named Pope in 2005. And she is the star of the MTV reality show Buck Wild, but this morning she became an inmate in a local jail. 24-year-old Sawa Amin was booked in the Central Regional Jail this morning. Now she's been charged with possession with intent to deliver out of Nicholas County. No details at this time as to what led to that arrest. This news comes just one week after the announcement that Buck Wild has been picked up for a second season. Well, police in Harrison County still looking for whoever robbed a veterans organization last night. This is exclusive video of the scene. Police say right around 8.30, a man walked into the American Legion in Bridgeport with a pistol and demanded money from the employee behind the counter. That employee was the only person inside the building at the time, and she was not hurt. The man, however, was able to get away with some cash. Police searched around the airport and a nearby cemetery with canines, but didn't have any luck. Police tell us the suspect is a white man about six feet tall and a medium build. He was wearing a light colored coat with a hood that was lined with fur. If you have any information, you can call the Harrison County Sheriff's Department. Their number 623-6655. Well, debris from a hillside threw a train off of its tracks in Harrison County Saturday afternoon. This happened at around 4.30 Saturday, just off of Route 19 in Gore. Now, CSX transportation officials tell us that debris from the hill fell onto those tracks and caused the train to derail. Usually when that happens, the train will just push through the debris, but this time it caused the train's wheels to slip off of the tracks. One locomotive and five of the 80 freight cars fell off those tracks, rolled down the side of the hill, and landed in some backyards. Now, the derailed cars also hit several utility poles. CSX spokesman Bill Sullivan says that the train was carrying coal. It was traveling from a Consol Energy mine in the area to Brunswick, Maryland, when the derailment happened. Sullivan also says that about 1,000 gallons of diesel fuel leaked from the locomotive. Most of the fuel was contained, but some did leak into the West Fork River. Some coal also spilled. Luckily, though, no injuries were reported. Well, a fire at an abandoned camper in Lewis County is under investigation. Crews were called to the scene around 930 last night. It happened at a camper on Babylon Ingo Road. That's in the Walkersville area. Firefighters on scene say they believe it is suspicious. They have called in the sheriff's department to investigate. Meanwhile, a man had to be flown to a Pittsburgh hospital this weekend after getting burned trying to put out a fire in Harrison County. That fire started just before 4 o'clock Saturday at a mobile home on Owings Road that's in Willard. Firefighters tell us the trailer was being used as a storage area and nobody was living there at the time. Now, two men tried to put out the blaze, but one man in his late 40s somehow burned his arms and the back of his head. He had to be flown to the West Penn Burn Center. Firefighters were able to put that fire out within minutes after they got on scene. Still no word, though, on how the fire started. And an active duty military member was arrested last night over accusation that, that he has been sexually abusing a 14-year-old girl over the last 10 years. Police say that Bruce Hayher sexually assaulted the girl since she was just four years old. The crimes apparently happened at Camp Dawson, where Hayhurst works and at his home. He's now facing a total of 25 sex-related charges between Preston and Nicholas counties. Some of those include multiple counts of sexual abuse by a parent, guardian, or custodian, first-degree sexual assault, and incest. All right, real quick, let's take a look at what our newsroom's working on for tonight. First up, it hasn't happened for 600 years, but today the Pope announced he'll be resigning. We're going to have a local reaction. And is the bacteria that causes whooping cough becoming resistant to vaccines? Well, new research shows that it is. We're going to tell you where it's happening. Plus, how long will the spring-like temperatures outside hang around? Well, Chief Meteorologist Ken Meehan is going to have a look at your first alert forecast coming up tonight on First at 5 and 5 News at 6. Slight spoiler alert. Uh, take advantage of it while you can. Yes, I did not yesterday, so I plan on doing it today. All right, let's run outside right now. That's going to do it for us. Be sure to tune back in tonight at First at 5 and 5 News at 6. And until then, have a great day, everybody.